But when you move out, you have to do everything by yourself. Today, I would like to talk to you about the first time that I lived on my own. That is a very interesting experience for me. The first part that I would like to talk about is food. So, food is the basic human need, but as a student studying abroad and going to all the introduction weekends, socializing with people, partying a lot, I can tell you that you're gonna forget about how you eat healthy and how to eat properly. Now, your parents usually, I guess, make food for you and if you're under 18 and you still live with them, but when you move out, you have to do everything by yourself. When it comes to cooking, my mom always had this huge cookbook with all those recipes. The only two recipes I knew was water and instant noodles. This is a lot. This is, I mean, no, it's actually not that much. It's only seven and a half pounds of food. Which is what I ate most of the time when I came to the Netherlands. You really have to start experimenting with food and I would always suggest you to stick to some recipes even before you start living on your own because it's very important that you cook your own food and you make sure that you can eat a nice and healthy diet. So when I found out that I was gaining weight, well, I wonder why, then it's when I stopped eating all the junk food and I asked my parents for advice or I even googled a few. Then one thing that's really underestimated, I would tell you that that's laundry. Now, my mother would always walk into my room, ask me which clothes are dirty, and then just do laundry. But that does not work like that if you live on your own. When you live on your own, you're probably gonna end up having the chair. As we all know, that's a chair full of clothes, and then you'll have to start getting used to it. After four years, if you ask me if I've been doing laundry properly, well, I am not, and I'm still trying to get used to it. Which is also part of all the responsibilities. The responsibilities that you have when you live on your own, it can involve dealing with all the bureaucracy that probably you didn't see before when you were under 18, but once you move out for uni, you might see a lot of responsibilities popping up out of nowhere. One of those, for example, was that I had to register to the municipality, register at my university, register at the student accommodation facilities, and I was always thinking that I could do those by myself, but it takes way longer time than you actually think it will. One time during the introduction week, when I still didn't have the numbers of all of my flatmates, I could not contact them properly, and the bell was not working, I forgot my keys at home. It was 4 a.m. and I was left alone for at least three hours, because all of my flatmates would wake up at 7 a.m., which meant that I was stayed at, out of home for at least three hours, all on my own, probably a bit drunk, and I don't remember most of the stuff. So. The key lesson is to always take your keys and learn how to deal with responsibilities, which is one thing that you will also learn through the years of living on your own. Then another thing that's very important for me was that I started appreciating my own parents and all the things they did. Aww. You know, you all, I always woke up with a good morning from my parents. They made breakfast for me. They took care of so much stuff, but I didn't realize it until it was gone. So. When I moved on my own, I didn't have my parents doing this stuff for me and I always tell them how much I appreciate everything they did for me, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do and be what I am today. The last part of living on my own is that many people have also asked me how I'm able to make ends meet. In the Netherlands, it's very common for people to study and alongside your studies to get a part-time job, for example, for eight or even 16 hours a week, which is very useful because you learn how to live on your own, take care of your responsibilities and also make your own money. That makes you 100% independent from parents and you can always do the stuff you want. So once you start learning how to do stuff on your own, then I think you start making up more time for work and this is going to give you an incredible feeling of responsibility and independence. So I hope to hear your own experiences as well of living on your own. Please leave them below in the comments. So like this video, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.